So I've just arrived in the Maldives and we are at our resort, which is called Barros, Maldives. And I'm just gonna give you a room tour of the villa before we mess it up. Okay. Here it is, 307. We are staying in a beautiful overwater bungalow. There we go. We got some welcome drinks. We got some Prosecco, which is yummy. And we got some fruit. We also have some champagne on ice for later. Here is the bed. It's wonderful. And we have a little sofa over here. And a TV at the end of the bed. Then around the back, we have some tea and coffee making facilities. Oh, and Pringles. That is essential. And water. All the messy stuff is here. There's some wardrobes. Then over here, we have the bathroom. We have a lovely his and her sink. The bath, which has incredible views. Shower. And the toilet. It's very cute. Okay, so the best bit is outside. We have a wonderful little lie out area. Deck chairs dining area where we can eat by the sea and look at this view. How incredible is this? It's just amazing. And then over here we have our own little stairs we can walk down into the ocean. Wow, that is just amazing. Look at the barracuda. I can't actually see on my screen but it is here. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh. What a cool dude. We have arrived in the Maldives, as you can see. We are staying at a beautiful resort called Barros, which has an island all to itself. It's a really small, cute island. There's three restaurants here and two bars. The staff is so friendly. And um, I was speaking to one of them earlier. And um, he said that the resort has been here like around 45 years. It was the third resort in the Maldives one of the originals, one of the OGs. At full capacity it has 150 guests, but because, well, because of COVID and stuff, there's only 30 at the moment, including us, so it's quiet around here and it's meant to feel like a private island, which is quite nice. Great for social distancing. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to be in the Maldives. I've never been anywhere like this. It's just crazy. Really? And a very different sort of holiday for me because I'm normally on the go constantly but here it's just me and the island. I'll be spending my time snorkeling, eating sushi, lounging on the beach and lots of relaxing stuff. I think it's needed sometimes you know just unwinding. I know like I do, and I'm sure so many other people do just get this urge to just explore all the time but sometimes it's just healthy to sit still and just do nothing. So I need to master the art of that and I feel like this is a great place to do it. Okay, wow, I actually spoke for quite a while. I don't normally do that. My excitement has peaked. There is a yellow fish there. We enjoyed some sushi for lunch at Lime Restaurant, the main restaurant on the island, before having some explorations. Oh my god. That was the bird, but did you see the shark? Look. Can you see it there? Oh my god, yeah. Oh, there's two of them. Because they just pushed all the fish to the beach and they all got beached and the birds got them. Look at it. It was a dream come true of mine to see a shark. There's something so remarkable about seeing a wild shark gracefully swim past. These were black-tipped reef sharks. Sharks get a bad reputation, but these guys are friendly sharks and are perfectly safe to get in the water with. Nature was all around us. Look at the giant beetle. Look, there they go.
After marvelling at all the animals, it was time to return to our water villa and prepare for a dip in the ocean. Still trying to get in. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Quite shallow, quite shallow. Before long, it was time to have dinner and to watch the sunset on our first evening in Barrels. The following day, after the best night's sleep I'd had all year, we had breakfast before making our way down to the beach. At the beach, we enjoyed some fresh coconut, followed by our first snorkeling session of the trip. Woohoo! It's time to go snorkeling. This is meant to be the best spot on the island, so. Let's take a look, because I cannot get over it. Look at this water. Oh my god, it's so warm as well. Very shallow. Sea walls wrap around the island on three sides, protecting the beaches from gradually being washed away. The walls also create a peaceful lagoon between themselves and the beach. The reef on the inside of the wall is very shallow, with warm, peaceful waters, making it perfect for young fish and sharks. It's also ideal for people just learning to snorkel. frequent gaps in the wall which act as passageways to the open ocean. Making my way through the wall, I wasn't sure what to expect. I was already happy with the sea life I had spotted within the walls. Nothing could have quite prepared me for how remarkable the snorkeling was on the outside. Colourful fish were everywhere. I had never seen so many fish in one place and could already comfortably say that this island in the Maldives was gifting me the best snorkeling of my life so far.
reef was so amazing. Something which I found fascinating was how the reef suddenly came to an end, dropping off into nothingness. Lewis and I called this the abyss. It had been an amazing first day of snorkelling. I couldn't wait to do it all over again the following day.